Welcome back to episode number 13 of this tutorial series on Arduino for complete beginners. You can find the series playlist in the description and let's get started. So in this tutorial, I will show you how to add a push button to your circuit, which already contains an LED. To add the push button, you will need, of course, a push button component and also a 10 kilo ohm resistor. So I'm going to show you exactly what to do on Tinkercad and then you can follow the exact same step to do the real circuit and I will show you the result also with the real circuit. So we are not going to start an empty project here. We are going to use what we already had before. So here, what you can do here, we have our LED circuit. You can click on these uh, settings here and click on duplicate. So we are not going to modify directly the LED circuit. We create a new one, okay, which is a copy of LED. Let's name it push button. Okay, and now we are going to add the push button right here in this circuit. So the first thing we can see is that we already have the connection, okay, uh, between the ground of the Arduino and the ground here, this line that we set up as the ground of the breadboard. So I'm going to add the push button here on the right. And you can see here on the list of components, we already have push button here. But as a wait, if you don't have it, you can directly search for it. So I take my push button, I put it there. And then we will also need a resistor. So I'm taking a resistor and this resistor will be a 10 kilo ohm resistor. So kilo here and 10 here. And as you can see, we have brown, black and orange. I'm going to make it rotate like this. All right. And that's all the components we need, plus the different wires. OK, but the wires, we are going directly to create it from the board. That's all the components we need for this circuit. What we are going to do is take the push button and place it here okay, between the two sets of lines here on the breadboard. So you have one uh, leg here, one leg here, another one here and another one here. We are going first to connect this push button to the ground and to do that we are not going to directly connect to the ground but we are going to add a resistor. Okay. I'm going to explain just after why we add a resistor here. So on this leg here, you can connect one resistor and then connect the other leg of the resistor here to another line. And then I'm going to take this and connect to the ground. So make sure this is the ground line. Okay, yes, this is the ground line. I'm going to put this in black because this is the convention for ground. And that's the first connection we need to do. Now, the second connection is we need to connect this leg, okay, on the other side of the button to the 5 volt supply of the Arduino. So we can see here we have a 5 volt supply. And instead of just putting a wire like that to the 5 volt, I could do this, okay. But instead, I'm going to connect the 5 volt here to the plus line okay so i'm going to put it there and with the color red okay red is the convention for power supply so i'm going to use red only for power supply and not for anything else and i recommend you do the same black and red are for ground and power supply so the 5 volt here goes directly to this line which means that now all this line is connected to 5 volts and you will see in the following of this course we actually need to connect multiple components to the power supply so this line will be very useful so what we can do i'm going to take one dot from this line okay any dot and connect it to the line of the 5 volt make sure that you don't connect it to the ground okay but to the line of 5 volt and put it color red Okay, so you can see by using the different colors, red and black, we can easily make the difference between ground and 5 volt. So in the future, we will make much less mistakes. 
All right, so we have this pin connected to ground with resistor and this pin connected to 5 volt. Now I'm going to take uh, the pin which is on the other side here of the button, okay, on this side which also corresponds to the side of the ground, okay. And I'm going to take one dot, so let's say this one, and I'm going to connect it now to digital pin number 2 like this, you can make it square like this, okay, that's better. So with this pin number two, we are going to be able to read the state for the push button. And right, the circuit is now finished. And just why did I add this resistor here connected to the ground? Because this is actually not mandatory. This resistor will act as what we call a pull-down resistor. What is a pull-down resistor? Well, when you just have a push button here and you have so ground and power supply and then you read the state from that pin, the state of the button, so the voltage that is applied to the button, may be floating, which means that it can be anywhere from 0 to 5 volt and the voltage will continuously change. By adding this resistor here connected to the ground, what we do is we force the default state of the button to be low, so to be zero volt. And you could do the same thing with a pull up resistor. So instead of connecting a resistor to the ground, you would connect it to the power supply. And then instead of using this line for the digital pin, you would use the other one. And thus with this setup, the default state for the push button will be high or 5 volt. Okay, so here by doing this, so with a pull down resistor to 0 volt, when we read the state for the push button, when the button is not pressed, we will read the state low, and when the button is pressed, we will read the state high, and we don't need to worry about the voltage here floating between two numbers. All right, and this is the real hardware circuit. So first, make sure that you disconnect the Arduino board. So at least one of the two uh, part of the USB cable here, I've just removed it completely. And then, so we have, what do we have on the circuit? We have our push button here, which I've connected just like in the Tinkercad simulation, okay, between the two parts, between the two sections of the breadboard. Then I have my... Here, my pull down resistor, which is a 10 kilo ohm resistor. But as you can see here, instead of uh, connecting the resistor between this leg of the button and another line and then adding a black wire, I just directly connect the resistor between the ground and this leg of the resistor. Okay, because this is very uh, near, I can save a wire there. Then I have added here this wire, okay, between, you can see the 5 volt pin of the Arduino, and here, this line, okay, so I have the ground, okay, the ground line and the 5 volt line, so now all this line here in red is connected to 5 volt, and I have a small wire here, a red wire, between this line and this pin of the button, and finally here, on this side, okay, which is the same side as the ground side. I have another wire, so I chose green as well. Another wire, this is connected between this pin and here the pin number two of the Arduino. All right, so now you have your LED here and the push button here and the two lines, so the plus and minus line are connected respectively to the volt and to the ground. All right, that's the end of this episode. If you found it useful, you will definitely like my full complete course on Arduino named Arduino for Beginners. This course contains about seven times more content than the series. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for watching. See you in the course or in the next tutorial of the series.